lately what's inspired me is is old world cliches, things that have a life behind them that you don't understand until you, you've you spent some time in the world. And I like to use those in a way to add depth to something, especially if it's got popular culture involved in it. So that way, when you first see the painting, you're, you're more into the surface of what's happening. And the longer you sit and talk to me about it, the more you learn why I did what I did. My process conceptually starts in a sketchbook um, or in my phone, just making notes and stuff that comes along with just experiencing life. And then from there, it usually goes into a quick concepting sketch phase, just kind of getting the characters looking the right direction and things like that. And then it moves into more of a final drawing phase, uh, just pencil drawing on paper. And then um, I paint on masonite panel. So I then do the final drawing on masonite panel and start filling in with acrylic paint usually. I think the biggest challenge um, becoming a professional artist is learning what that entails. I think that being a professional artist requires you to know a lot about different business markets and it requires a perseverance to be motivated every day to make your own way in the world. I've been exhibiting at the Sawdust since summer of 2007. Uh, the Sawdust Art Festival is a unique opportunity to bring a couple hundred artists together from all different walks of life and backgrounds and, and different styles and, and talk with them about how they got to where they're at and learn their techniques. It's also a place that your family can come and enjoy at the same time. I mean, it's, a, it's a, a safe zone that it's fenced in and you can let your kids kind of freely run and, and appreciate the arts and the grounds and, and not have any worries. And there aren't a lot of places like that. Uh, yeah, I'd always recommend someone be an artist. Um, I think that that recommendation would come with a few, a few asterisks. I think that depending on what what being an artist means to you and being a professional artist is, it comes with a lot of knowledge of, of where the easiest path is for you. And I think a lot of people don't give you that. A lot of people just sort of encourage you to be an artist and, and, um, and don't seek out what that means to, to teach someone uh, how to get to where they want to go. I'm Michael Phillips. I live here in Laguna Beach. I'm a sawdust artist, uh, oil and acrylic paint.